Have you got yourself a fresh Gopher post to install, but not sure where to start? We got you covered. Hi, I'm Sebastian with Crank Brothers. Today, we will go over the steps involved installing a new dropper seat post. Whether you have a Highline dropper or another cable actuated post, the steps are fairly universal. Let's dive in. So to start, let's make sure you have everything you need. A dropper post, dropper post remote, cable and housing, cable cutter, an assortment of Allen keys, and M-Tool works great for this. First up, you'll want to bolt the dropper remote to the bars in a comfortable position. Make sure you have enough cable housing for installation. Now, we want to slide it through the frame. If you're lucky, your frame will have internal cable tunnels. If your frame doesn't, you will need to fish the cable housing and carefully guide it. Patience is your best friend here. From here, we will cut down the housing to a more accurate length. Use post to mock up insertion depth and cut the excess housing at the remote. Give yourself a bit of wiggle room to make adjustments if necessary. Remember, you can always trim excess housing if you went too long. Now slide the gear cable through the housing with the lead end position at the seat post. Grab the post and install the lead end of the cable into the post. If you have a carbon frame, use a little bit of carbon paste around the seat tube to help keep things tight. Slide it down, making sure to keep the cable and housing tension nicely to avoid slack inside the frame. Guide the end of the cable through the lever, pull tightly and cinch it down. Cut your cable just shy of the lever end and install a cable end. Now that dropper post is complete, fit saddle of choice. And there you have it, your dropper post is installed. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.